Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 12th episode of the Have a Good Day podcast for mental health and all things positivity. My name is Jack Mancini, and it is my goal to make sure that everyone out there listening to this right now has a good day. Remember to breathe in and breathe out. Today, I am not joined by any guest. It's just me doing a solo episode. I thought it'd be cool to update you guys just on my life, about the podcast, about how things are doing, and and um, yeah, I think it's good to do these solo ones every once in a while, just kind of get some things off my chest and uh, maybe update you guys with what's coming in the future. You know, the podcast has been on my mind a lot lately because I've been trying to find ways to kind of evolve, I guess. And I'm really enjoying the conversations and I'm really enjoying the interviews, but I'm really trying to find the way that I want to go visual, like full time. So that's what I've been really focusing on with the podcast. But I've been super, super uh, excited to see just kind of what comes of of these ideas. And and I know I've been kind of cryptic lately on them, but I'm just really, really excited to share, which uh, that will come soon. Uh, also, if I sound a little weird, it's because I'm sick right now. Yeah, I got a lot of guests lined up, though. I'm pretty excited to have uh, some of my friends on in the upcoming episodes because the past few have obviously been more uh, professional-esque, which is, is cool, is really dope, but I also enjoy the more authentic um, conversations. You know, somebody asked me something recently, and it was, do you think you can control your life? And... I had to think about that for a while, and I still don't know the answer, because there's part of me that wants to say, no, you can't control your life, because the universe does, right? But there's also a part of me that says, well, what you put out there, and what you think, and what you say, all of that adds up to, you know, what affects you essentially so in a way you kind of do control your life right so there's a little bit of nuance to it i guess in 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 the answer really i didn't give the guy an answer when he asked me but um there's a little bit of nuance for sure because i i think you can control aspects of your life and you can control maybe the good and bad karma generally doesn't mean you can always control it because sometimes things just happen but I don't know. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I don't have an answer, to be honest. So I I pose that question to you. Do you think you can control your life? Why, if so, and why, if not? I'm really curious to see what people think about that. I definitely feel like I'm improving, though, like generally just as a person and and with my habits. And um, although I'm definitely not perfect and I'm still kind of going through a little bit of a rough period, um, I, I still feel really positive and really just good about the position that I'm in. I really want to do so much more, but I, I just feel really, uh, I don't know, overwhelmed or stressed. I don't know what it is right now, to be honest. I, I, I definitely have a lot on my plate, but not in a bad way. I'm just learning how to deal with multiple things. And uh, that's a skill that I will need for the future, most definitely. Um, But I I think that, I think what's kind of been making me feel a little more down is I feel like there's nothing new going on in my life. And I'm the type of person where, you know, I need new things constantly happening in my life because, I don't know, new things make life interesting, you know? And I feel like the past you know, month or so, there hasn't been as much new development in my life, which is totally okay, because not every single month is supposed to be a period where you're starting all these new things. A lot of it is supposed to be sustaining, which sustaining has always kind of been my biggest struggle when it comes to creating things and projects and whatever. The hard part isn't creation. The hard part isn't coming up with the idea or executing on that idea. I feel like the hardest part for me is sustaining. And I definitely have had trouble over the past few weeks just kind of getting myself into uh, the mindset that I need to be in in order to talk in front of this microphone. And my goal is to ultimately stay, you know, super consistent. I don't want to miss a single week, but 
you know, just the past bit, I've been kind of down to myself, just been a little, a little lazy with myself, and uh, just trying to tell myself that it's okay, because, you know, there's going to be good periods, and there's going to be bad periods, and I'm just in a, I don't want to say bad period, because it's not, like, terrible or nothing, but I'm definitely in a bit of a, a down, down period, um, but like I said, that's, that's something that I've learned is okay, and I'm not going to let myself sit in it, I'm not going to feel bad for myself, I'm just going to keep moving forward and, and keep pushing because I know that I will make it on the other side because I've done it many, many a time. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel confident in my abilities now. Just talking right now is already making me feel better. So yeah, I absolutely love this podcast. I am so thankful for this podcast. I've been feeling so blessed over the past while and even though like I just said I have been feeling more down this is the first time in my life where I'm having a sad period but I still am positive and that's so crazy to me because I've never been able to be the type of person where when I was down I was able to tell myself well but it's going to be okay it's okay to be sad but you're going to be fine later I was always oh my god this is the end of the world this is like the the last part of my life oh my god you know what I mean just straight panic essentially yeah it's cool man it's really, really cool that I'm here just talking about how I feel in front of all these people. And I really don't give a shit about what people have to say about how I feel, which is is a very, very, very far cry from where I was a little while ago. That's for sure. Wow, man. Life is fucking sick. <laughs> It's crazy, man. The power of positivity is is genuinely a beautiful thing. It's 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 crazy, man. And it makes me sad when when there's people who don't want to try out being positive for once. And not even not even just the positive side of things, but even just things like meditation and and self-help in general. It, it it's just kind of sad to me because there's so many people who need help but just aren't willing. You know, it, it's it's like the classic saying of people fear what they hate and hate what they don't know. You know, I've heard that so many times over the past year. It's crazy. Whenever I hear that uh, that phrase, it makes more and more sense <laughs> every single time I hear it. You know, people are very, very much unwilling. It, it doesn't mean they're incapable. I've really been wanting to start a YouTube channel, like a proper, proper YouTube channel with its own topics and its own audience and and uh, I've had a few different ideas and I ended up doing one of the ideas for a school project but I'm not going to stick to it it was a a video on I think it was oh it was a a video on demo tracks so like uh, just rap music and and uh, about Drake and Baby Keem and Future and whatever and it was fun but I want to make YouTube content that's longer I want to I want to do more opinion, opinion-based videos because th- those are just seem to be much more interesting to me, in general. You know, watching and creating. Um, I've had a few different ideas, but I feel like, I mean, I don't want to say obviously my ideas on here, but one of my bigger ideas for a YouTube channel would be involving um, older, older media content. Trying to keep it as uh, vague as possible, but yeah, I, I'm I'm somebody who's obsessed with media in, in any in any form really, um, and f- media from the past is like that's my heaven right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like history and media mixed, my two favorite things. So I think that that would be a, a cool idea for a YouTube channel. It's crazy how I already feel so much better, like just from talking for a little bit. Crazy man. But other than the podcast and, and booking guests and all that shit, um, school's been really good, actually. I've been doing pretty good grade-wise, like last semester, and uh, really enjoy going. Like, I, I just enjoy being on campus and, and talking to everybody and, and interacting with like-minded people. It's cool. And although I'm not the closest with the people in my program, and I... I do that intentionally. Um, I still have a really, really good time with them, you know. And I absolutely love all my professors. 
and um, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with the program itself because we've been focusing a lot on on uh, audio as a whole, which I've mentioned before, but specifically podcasting and social media, which I think is really, really important to learn and also just super interesting to me. So that's been uh, been really cool. You know, there was some report that came out. It was uh, to do with Ontario, which is where I live here in Canada. It was a report saying that I think it was like 90% of students in Ontario want mental health support or need mental health support or so some something like that, which is just kind of crazy, man. And this was taken, of course, uh, after the pandemic, which has impacted many, many people mental health wise. And uh, it's just, it sucks, man. The pandemic was definitely a time of learning for a lot of people. But it was also a time of a lot of pain for people. A lot of anger, frustration, anxiety, you know, all these feelings. And I know so many people who came out of the pandemic better, but I also know people who came out of the pandemic worse financially and mentally and physically i even saw a report saying uh there was some winnipeg winnipeg schools that have seen a jump in unsafe behavior which is uh tied to to, which is excuse me which is tied to mental health of course and you know i look around me and on the news and and on my phone and whatever And there are constant shootings and constant stabbings and constant crashes of cars and stabbings and fucking more stabbings and more stabbings and more stabbings. It's honestly, it's ridiculous. And it's getting to a point where I don't even feel safe to be on the TTC, which is our our transportation system here. I go on the subway and I got to fucking move like... 90 miles per hour and I got to keep my head down and I got to do what I got to do, right? Like, that's just insane, man. That, like, I don't know. To me, that's a little crazy. Maybe there's going to be some Americans listening to this shit being like, hey, man, that's what we do daily in New York. I don't know. Being from Canada, being from a place where it's supposed to be this safe haven, you know, it's scary. And it's also sad because our country has fallen a great deal and uh, we really have nobody to blame but ourselves and, uh, of course, our shitty government. But, you know, every government's bad. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. But, yeah, I, I think, uh, I think it's, it's, it's hard for people to go outside and to, to live life after the pandemic. Like, there are so many... And I mean, so many people from my generation and younger and probably older who are suffering from anxiety and whatever else that they gained through the pandemic, because, you know, I'm sorry, not talking to people for two years, that can change a lot of people psychologically, like especially younger people. If you're in grade, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, like these are defining years of your life. And you had to stay inside for two years with no social interaction or limited, at least. It's definitely hard, man. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of support groups and, and, and hotlines and whatever else out there. And there are, are actually groups that specialize in um, support after the pandemic, which uh, I would highly look into if that's something that interests you. But yeah, man, I don't know. Feeling just kind of overall been more of a down mood. Kind of felt a little uh, stagnant a bit and and just uh, upset. But talking about this made me feel better and also just realizing that, man, life is is 
is a very, very fragile thing. Like, the fact that I can die at any single second in time is kind of scary. And I dragged it out because it was scaring me. <laughs> but, yeah. Got a lot on my mind. Maybe you got a lot on your mind too, but that's okay. If you got a lot on your mind, just take a deep breath. Think about something you like. Maybe food. Maybe the beach. I don't know. But for real, it's okay if you're having a bad day. It's okay if you're not feeling the best because look at me. I'm not having the best day. But with that being said, I'm still trying my best. I'm still being positive and I'm still doing what I do. So please go out there and do what you do. Be you, no matter how corny it sounds. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for listening to the 12th episode of the Have a Good Day podcast for mental health and all things positivity. My name is Jack Mancini. Don't forget to breathe in and breathe out and have a good day.